Hello, and thank you for tuning in. Before I get to the review, I would like to take a few moments to give some shout outs to a handful of channels and websites that have proven to be extremely useful to me. First up, we have Alfonso the Trader. His YouTube channel, relatively new, is dedicated to delivering excellent terrain making and scratch model building tutorials. If you happen to have caught my Knight Errant Warehouse video, some of the weathering techniques that I utilized, I actually picked up from Alfonso's channel. Next up, we have Ryan Scow. He has two websites, the first of which is a blog that he has been keeping updated more frequently than the other, both of which, though, have a focus on medieval and modern terrain with some very cool results. He has more than a couple of tips and tricks to help make your projects really look sharp. A lot of you terrain makers out there have probably heard of Woodland Scenics and the great selection of materials that they have for sale. Did you know that they also have a YouTube channel as well? It is listed under Model Scenery Expert instead of Woodland Scenics, which might have kept them off of your radar. Their channel has quite a collection of tutorials on how to use their products and some great painting tips in general for terrain. Now, I can't stump for Woodland Scenics without giving a shout out to Scenic Express. Over the last couple of years, I've bought a lot of great products from this company and they've never disappointed me, either with the products, their service, or how quickly they get them to my doorstep. Their range of products is pretty extensive and certain to give your terrain projects that extra bit of pop. For my fellow RPG enthusiasts, if you're a fan of the Star Wars RPGs, then you should swing by RPGGamer.org. For the West End Games version, they have amassed a vast collection of starships, vehicles, equipment, planets, NPCs, and I do mean vast. Wait, what about Star Wars D20 from Wizards of the Coast, you ask? Fear not, you have not been neglected. That collection is growing as well. As for my channel, I hope that you will stay tuned for a tutorial on scratch building your very own sci-fi bunker, followed up by a review of the Wonderland RPG setting by Marco Chaikun for the JAGS RPG rules. On to the review. Last year, I stopped by Miniature Building Authority's booth at the Origins Game Show and picked up this little gem, the 28mm Sci-Fi Porta Potty. Yes, the Super Pooper Shed of the future can be yours today. It's cast in resin with a pretty serviceable pre-paint job, removable roof, and a very fine level of detail on the exterior and interior. I am a firm believer that it is the details that make terrain not just believable, but immersive. And this porta potty, as strange as it's going to sound, fits that mantra perfectly. If you have two or three of these next to a sci fi construction site, it would look absolutely perfect. You can even add graffiti and some miniature posters plastered on the outside for a little bit of fun. I really have to give credit to the guys at MBA for putting this out. It's one of those little bits that most people would simply never even think of. Now, I've gone ahead and added a little bit of weathering, a couple of posters, and a little bit more to the interior detail to just grime it up just a wee bit. For style and form, five out of five stars. That's right, the first product to break the four star ceiling is a crapper. Oh, the irony of it all. The removable roof and the great details inside, which are painted, makes this piece even that much better. Execution, four out of five stars. 
there are some very small air bubbles and voids, which you won't notice unless you look very closely. The paint job is serviceable, but not a Jen Haley or Blue Table painting level. If it were, though, it would cost a lot more than $14.95. Ease of use, five out of five stars. Buy it, take it out of the package, and place it on your game table, and you're ready to go. Final rating, four out of five stars. If you're looking to add a little bit of something extra to your sci-fi terrain to make it stand out, this is a great product at a reasonable price. Well, that's it for now. But I hope that you'll swing back by. And remember, incoming fire always has the right of way.